Thank you for choosing Broadwave from NCH Software. This video will show you how to set up Broadwave so you can stream live or recorded audio from your computer. Before we start, you should know that many connection problems have to do with NAT routers. If your router does not support Universal Plug and Play or UPnP, you will have to look up the instructions in your router's manual, log into your router, and forward port 88 to port 88 on the Broadwave server. If you're not the person who looks after the router, ask the person who does to do this. The most difficult obstacle in streaming audio from a computer using Broadwave or any server-based software is in configuring the internet connection. Broadwave acts as a server, allowing outside internet users to access files or live streams directly from your computer. In order to allow that access, you need to make sure your firewalls and router allow connections from the outside internet to Broadwave. To get Broadwave working, you may need to manually open the port 88 using your firewall software or log into your router to port forward 88 to the computer running Broadwave. From the toolbar, click on the options icon to bring up the Broadwave settings window. From the web access tab in the routing section, you'll see Broadwave's current internet connection status. If the text is green and says your system is configured properly, your internet connection is ready for streaming. If the text is red, you'll need to take some extra steps before you can stream. Often, enabling Universal Plug and Play or UPnP through your router will free up the connection. Broadwave makes use of UPnP to configure your router for you. Just click the Run Routing and Test Wizard button from this window to begin the process. If running the wizard doesn't free up the connection, the red text will give you an indication of where the connection is being held up. The red text will display problems with the IP address, firewalls, or if you don't have UPnP, will tell you to forward port 88 from your router. Your network administrator should know how to fix each of these issues, or you can try the following suggestions. There may be one or more firewalls on your system or network blocking the internet connection, including the operating system firewall, the router's firewall, and any third-party firewalls you may have installed. To open a firewall for Broadwave, a rule or exception must be created. You can find instructions for creating rules in your firewall software manual, or look for support resources online. To create a rule, you need to know which port Broadwave is set to use. By default, Broadwave uses port 88 with a TCP IP connection. If your router does not support UPnP or you prefer not to use it, you'll have to manually set your router to forward port 88. Use your router's help manual or online resources to find instructions on where to assign ports in your router software. You'll be assigning Broadwave's port 88 to forward to your computer's local IP address at the same port. Broadwave will tell you the local IP address if you click the configure link to the right of the local network hyperlink and look for address. If Broadwave stops working after a period of working successfully, you may find that the connection status points to a problem with your IP address. Broadwave and other servers require a static IP address. If Broadwave finds that your IP address changes, you'll need to acquire a static IP address from your internet service provider or use a dynamic IP service to direct your changing IP address to a domain name. The domain name can then be used in place of an IP address. For more information on how to make your computer accessible from the public internet, see our other video tutorials on the subject, or visit the NCH Software Knowledge Base article at the address shown on your screen. Using Broadwave, you can stream podcasts or recorded files individually or from a playlist on your website. To add audio files, click the Audio Files button to pull up the Broadwave Settings window. Click Add and browse to the audio file you'd like to stream and click OK. Add as many files as you wish. You can also stream live audio over the internet using Broadwave for events like a web concert or radio show. Begin by setting up your audio streams, or in layman's terms, microphones or sound devices. Click on the Streams button to pull up the Live tab in the Broadwave Settings window. To add a new microphone or sound device, click Add Stream to bring up the Stream Input Settings. Enter a name that will help you differentiate the sound devices, and then select how the device is connected to your computer from the drop-down menu. Click OK to add the microphone stream to your list. Once you have your playlist or live streams ready to go, you need to connect Broadwave to your website. Click the Connect button from Broadwave's main window. 
This will open up a browser window with a list of URLs and code that you can add to your website's code. Ask your web developer for help in adding these URLs and code if you're not sure where they go. For each microphone, playlist, or song you've added, you'll see links for both a broadband and dial-up stream, along with a link for Windows Media Player, which will work on computers with Windows, and a link for iTunes, Real Player, and QuickTime, which will work on Macs. You should include both links on your page unless you opt to use the flash code, which can be played on both Macs and PCs. For playlists and audio files, you'll also see links to include for downloading and podcasts. If you plan on using the free version of Broadwave, you must also include a link to NCH software on every page that links back to Broadwave. The HTML code for the NCH software link is found at the bottom of the links page. It must be placed accurately on your website or else Broadwave will be disabled. Once the Broadwave links are in place on your website, your live audio streams can be listened to anytime the microphone is connected and Broadwave is running, even if it's running in the background. You can record your audio stream to disk by clicking the record button to the left of each audio stream from Broadwave's main window. To specify where the audio is saved, click the Streams button on the toolbar to bring up the Live tab in the Settings window. At the bottom of the window, click the Browse button to find the folder where your recording should be saved to. Alternatively, you can also download NCH Software's SoundTap streaming audio recorder which not only records, but can convert file types and easily burn them to disk. You've just been shown how to stream live and recorded audio through your website using NCH Software's Broadwave streaming audio server. For information on other products by NCH Software, visit nchsoftware.com.